Hello kindergarten artists and welcome back to Art with Mr. Mariani. Today we're going to learn a brand new word. Our word for today is going to be symmetry. Symmetry is a very big word and we might not know what it means now, but by the end of this lesson we're going to have a good idea of what that word symmetry means. So, one thing that I like to think about when I think about symmetry is symmetry meaning the same. So if I have three things on this side, then I need to have three things on this side. If I have only two things on this side and three things on this side, that is not symmetrical. We'll give a thumbs down for that. If I have two things on this side and two things on this side, that is symmetrical. So we need to have the same amount of things on both sides for it to be symmetrical. So symmetrical just means another word for symmetry. When we're using it, we can say something is symmetrical. And so let's take a little quick test to see how much we already know. This mug, if I put this mug like this, is this symmetrical? If you said yes, then you're wrong. It's actually not symmetrical. This little handle right here, for this mug to be symmetrical, it would need another handle on this side. That's why this mug is not symmetrical. But if I take this pumpkin, do you think this pumpkin, pumpkin is symmetrical? If you said yes, this time you're right. Because I have one, two, three, four shapes on this side, one, two, three, four shapes on this side. So if I cut it in half, it's the same on both sides. Now let's look at this mitten. Is this mitten symmetrical? If you said no, this time you are right because it has a thumb on one side. If I wanted to make it symmetrical so that it had symmetry, I would have to put a thumb on both sides. But we don't need gloves that have thumbs on both sides, right? Because we only got one thumb on each side. We don't have them like this. That would look silly, right? Okay, so today's art assignment, we are going to be making a symmetrical drawing. Now, you can pick items that are symmetrical or not, but what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line down the middle of your paper. And in case you're wondering, this is a vertical line. We've talked about vertical. This way was horizontal. Yesterday we used a horizontal line. Today's our vertical line. And then I want you to pick some shapes. So on this side, I make one circle. So if I make one circle on this side, then on this side, I need to make one circle. And maybe I make an ice cream cone on this side. Then what do I gotta make on this side? If you said ice cream cone, you're right. Let's do it. Ice cream cone. It's a little bit cold out today for ice cream, but still might be good. So these are my two ice cream cones. Now, if I wanna make, let's do a pencil. If I wanna make a pencil, now remember our ouch lines. There we go, nice and sharp on this side. Then I need to make a piece of candy on this side? No, Mr. Mariani, you need to make another pencil. Ouch, 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 ouch. Perfect. Oops, forgot my lines. So today your assignment is to draw a drawing that has some things on this side and some things on this side, but make sure they're the same on both sides so they can be symmetrical or have symmetry. So remember, the number has to be the same. So you can count them. One, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. One circle on this side, one circle on this side. One ice cream cone, one ice cream cone, one pencil, one pencil. But I want you to be creative today. I don't want you just to make what Mr. Mariani made. I want you to make something that you like to draw, but just remember to make it symmetri symmetrical. All right, kindergarten, we will see you back here tomorrow for a new lesson.